Realize DraftKings doesn't charge for depositing via credit card. Deposit money into DraftKings using credit card. Immediately withdraw the money into bank account. Pay off credit card with bank account. Keep 2% cash back rewards. My face when I do this multiple times a week. Bet on the guys that won the last 4 years in a row. Win. Fanboyism is real. Is it your credit card cash back reward? How does it work and how much are you making from this? You just keep it in the same account? With City's double cash card you get 1% when you buy something and then 1% when. You pay it back. So I move around 10,000 and get 200. Hi Anon this is the IRS we see you had $4 million in transactions last year, we'd like to have a chat. Baby's first manufactured spend. There are people who have entire businesses set up around this concept OP. Going to look into this, I've got 100k in credit doing nothing. Is this not defrauding the credit card company of their 2%? Or do they not care because they make more than that on each transaction? In which case would it not be defrauding DraftKings of whatever percent they pay the credit card company on the transaction? This does sound good but I'm also a risk averse regard which is why I don't F with crypto. I'm surprised your card is counting the rewards on the deposit to DraftKings. Usually they flag charges like that and don't pay out for it. What card are you using? I used to be able to pay my city credit card over the phone with my Coinbase debit card and get 6% cash back total on everything I was buying it was insane. It doesn't work anymore and Coinbase lowered their rewards substantially. I did it for like 2 years though which was cool. Now I just focus on churning credit cards and might try bank accounts next. Coinbase ACH transfers supposedly count as a direct deposit to satisfy the requirements. What card do you use? I have tried and get hit with a cash advance fee. Be weary Annans. Nice LARP dude. DraftKings will freeze and close your account if you try doing this regularly. Are you literally regarded or just trolling? You're OP so it's already known you're a silly head. It's extremely obvious you haven't actually tried this at all. First no sports book or other Gamba service is going oh let you just straight up withdraw virgin, unplayed, money just because, let alone in a pure cash form like a bank account transfer. They will require you play a percentage of that money first before you can withdraw anything i.e. you deposit $100, you gotta actually gamble 50%, $50, of that before you can withdraw anything. Second, most if not all credit cards not only not give any rewards for Gamba transactions, but some may even process the charge as a cash advance and hit you with interest. I complete my credit card sign-up bonuses by paying rent with them. Here in Leafland we have Chexy. Got my MX sign-up bonus for tons of Mr. Point scheduled to complete at next month's rent. Yeah it costs 1.75% but I make it back and more with the bonuses. This stuff is genius if it actually works. I have been looking for a way to buy crypto with zero interest for 15 months and I think you just figured it out for me OP. Honestly I'm thinking about this and if it actually works it's perfect for more than one reason. It screws over the credit tiny hat because of sign on bonuses and they will be securing me an interest free loan. It screws over the gambling tiny hat because they'll be paying the credit card fees. Joggers can't do it because you need good credit. Serious question. Does anyone who works at a bank or insurance company know the difference between a high and low level block? Which one's bestest? 